Hi everyone! In this brief tutorial, I'll show you how to import a Python script as a module within Google Colab. The first thing I'll do is I'll create the Python script that we'll use as a module. So I'm going to go to my Google Drive and create a new Google Colab file. And this script will just be a simple function. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the square root of a given number and return it. We'll rename this as square root. And we can save this as a py file and download it. Next thing I'll do is I'll drag and drop our py file into Google Colab. And I'll go over two methods that we can import the file. The first method is we can connect to our Google Drive, so I already have this connected. We go to Drive, My Drive, then we go into the specific folder that contains the py file. So in this case, I am going to copy the path. And I am going to do a bit of bash scripting here. So I am going to use bash and this CP stands for copies. I'm going to put in the path. One thing to be aware of, if there are spaces within the path, then you need to put escapes into it. So those spaces are canceled out. And then the final part is we need to save this to our content space right here. So let's see if we got this. And if we refresh, we were able to save it to the content drive within Google Colab. After this, it's very easy. We just have to import square root. And the way that we check is we had square root as S-Q-R-O-O-T. So we could do call the script itself, square root. And just like we would with any other module that we import, we do the dot S-Q-R-O-O-T to return the function itself. And we can put in a number. Great, so we were able to successfully import a module and import a Python file and use it as a module. There is a second method if you want to import files locally. So here I imported from Google Colab files. And what we can do is we can go and what I'll do now is I'll just delete this so we can start fresh. And we just go to files.upload. Hit enter. And I can choose files. And I am just going to choose the square root. And now I have it saved here. Like before, we'll just import square root. And we'll also call the square root module, then the square root function, and put in the number that we're taking the square root of. Thank you for watching. I hope that this was helpful. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Also, if you have any Google Colab questions, I'm always interested in learning more about it and taking deep dives, so feel free to comment on this video. Thanks again for watching and happy coding.